Hi, everyone. I haven't done a video for a little while, so I thought I'd let you know what's up. In a couple of days, I'm actually having surgery on my vocal cords to try to improve the raspiness of my voice. As many of you know, I was diagnosed in November 2019 with anaplastic thyroid cancer after I had a fairly large tumor removed from my left side uh, of my thyroid. Uh, unfortunately, to get the tumor out, a, a very important nerve uh, called the left recurrent laryngeal nerve had to come out with it. And so that left me with a paralyzed vocal cord on the left side. So my voice changed. Uh, it didn't go away, uh, but it did change and it got kind of raspy, a little bit lower pitch. And for me, the biggest problem is I have to put through a lot more air to be able to uh, make any sound at all. Uh, and so it's very tiring. And uh, over the last year, we've determined that uh, we wanted to try to address this. And the simplest way to do this was actually to do a uh, injection medialization procedure where a substance is injected into the vocal cord and it plumps it up and moves the vocal cord over to a better position so that the remaining vocal cord that has the nerve still connected will actually be able to work a little bit better. And I should be able to make uh, vocal sounds with less effort. Uh, and I'm hoping that's how it turns out. So since I'm in my full teaching mode on I'm using Zoom to record this, I thought I'd actually share some slides like I normally do when I'm teaching. This is a diagram that I think is quite good, and it shows the, uh, the structure in my neck. Uh, and my tumor was actually, you know, where my thyroid is right about here. And the big problem was that the uh, branch of the vagus nerve, the 10th cranial nerve called the left recurrent laryngeal nerve comes up and it goes to my voice box. It does other things, but at this point is where it's been cut and it's gone. So the left side of my vocal cords no longer functions. Uh, this left recurrent laryngeal nerve is a bit of an unusual one in that it comes down, goes underneath the uh, aortic arch, so your heart is right here, comes all the way back up the opposite direction to do its thing. So the lack of this nerve means I don't have control over the muscle going into that uh, vocal cord on that side. So this, as a result, you know, causes one side to not function. So normal vocal cords uh, will go flap back and forth as you put air through them. And your voice is the result of the narrowing and the widening of that space and the vibration between the two parts of your vocal cords uh, when you put the air through it. Well, with one side just kind of sitting there, the other side does all the work and the paralyzed side could kind of just flap around and do very little. So I have to put a lot more air through to be able to make sound. And this is very tiring to do that. And it does change the uh, tone of the voice somewhat. So uh, what we're doing about this is the surgeon is going to take uh, me into the OR uh, later this week and is actually going to put some inert filler into one side. This is flipped from the previous image, but uh, the filler that's in there will last maybe up to a year uh, and it will push the vocal floor fold over a little bit more to the middle and allow the other side to have an easier job of vibrating against it. And the material itself 
is called Radius Voice, and it's a gel-like carboxymethyl cellulose with uh, a powdered calcium hydroxyapatite, uh, which is the part that doesn't go away very quickly. Uh, hydroxyapatite is actually the same thing your bone is made out of. So that gets injected into one side. It doesn't take terribly long. The whole thing is probably under an hour, but the idea is that I'm hoping by moving it over more to the middle, the other side will have an easier time and I will have an easier time speaking and maybe have to put less air through it. If this actually works, we can repeat the procedure or we can go the more drastic route and have an implant put in that is permanent to push it over. But in my case, it's probably a good choice to go the less invasive route at the beginning to see whether it does give me some benefit for my voice. Uh, we don't really know what's going to happen. It may really work well or it may actually uh, do not much. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Since my voice may change, I thought this video would be a good opportunity to have you hear it before surgery. And this is me the day after surgery, using a cell phone app to talk. And this is my voice after surgery. This is my voice before surgery. And this is my voice after surgery. It's now been about two weeks since I had my surgery and my voice has been quite variable over the last few weeks, almost like I'm going through puberty again. Uh, but it is going a little bit better every day and I'm able to uh, speak with a little bit less effort and just in, sometimes it's actually a little bit louder as well. So those were kind of the things that we were hoping for. The surgery itself went very well. Uh, the process was smooth, uh, got in a little bit early, didn't get out of recovery very quickly because my blood pressure would go down, but uh, otherwise, everything seemed fine. The biggest problem was the five days of not talking after surgery. That was a lot more torture than I expected. Uh, I had to use an app, which was uh, demonstrated a few moments ago. And it was very frustrating because the conversations uh, kept moving around me and it took me a lot longer to contribute. So usually what I had to say was three or four sentences ago. So it was very difficult and the dog wouldn't listen to me at all. Uh, anything I said on the app, she didn't care. So a few times I had to text my wife to come ask the dog to do something because she just didn't understand. So you can hear my voice is still uh, changing pitch every once in a while. So I'm quite happy uh, with how things went and I'm expecting it to be a little bit more smooth and less uh, variable over the next little while. And we'll see how long this lasts. It may last up to a year and uh, we could repeat it if necessary. So I think it was a success. I'm glad it got done. Uh, our whole province actually went into lockdown and most surgeries of this nature have been postponed. So I just slipped in under the wire. So I hope this was useful uh, to explain a little bit what was going on and maybe you'll be able to hear a difference in my voice. I'm quite happy to have had it done. Bye.